in his Art of the Future, because next to love, art was the other idea of, of Wagner to create a better world. In Art of the Future, Wagner writes, art, despite its noble intentions, has zero impact on public life. That was 150 years ago. If it was zero then, now it's far below zero. Um, why the loss of impact of art in our society? Why is it that the opera house, concert houses, Nexus Institute, we all are struggling to keep a world of art alive, and it's, it's a tough fight. Pierre, why, why? Why is art no longer considered to be, because at least in the time of Nietzsche Wagner, that was another argument. They all believed that art, whatever form of art, is an important thing. Well, because art uh, is, is, is born as, as a, from, from, an, from an elite. And there's no, you can't deny that. It is, it is created by an elite and it is, it is ultimately appreciated by an elite. And, then, and it has a, a further life uh, which one would have hoped in the age of the internet would have flourished and abolished your worries. But what is happening, which is tragic, is that it's had the opposite effect. Uh, instead of, of, by now, we should be in a situation where art is, is really flourishing, is really communicating, is really uh, creating new audiences in a normal way, because the internet is a free, is a free highway in which the ideas, you can see things, you can hear things, you can, you can distribute things, but it doesn't seem to be working like that. And it's very tragic and very worrying, and I think that could be the topic of a whole conference here. That's a very strange point of view to me, actually, because I look at, like, Bandcamp, where any band can put their, their music on the internet and get listeners, or say, in Korea, webtoons, you have several million Koreans subscribing to, to web comics, which are appreciated by mostly teenagers, but people of all ages, it seems like there's an incredible flourishing of art being but, created and, and well, distributed yeah. online. I mean, it, it may not be the kind of yeah, art it, that you no, personally no, I'm, produce, I'm not, but it, it, it is It art, is a transformation. Right? It's, yeah. it's going in another direction. But I think the, the I mean, here you're organizing a, a conference around the ring, which is a, a, a sophisticated, uh, uh, one, of the, one of the great monuments of, 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 of world culture. It, it's, it's really, a, it, 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 it'll be difficult to beat the ring in the next hundred years from any artist creating something like that. Uh, you, you would like that to be created in the next hundred years. You would like to, to imagine that another Wagner uh, is born, that, that, that another type of ring is also uh, uh, created to, 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 in a way to update a little bit the journey of 200 years that would have happened. Uh, I'm rather pessimistic about it because I think the, 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 the ring is a very, very, very complex work. It has many, many l l musicological layers of, of tremendous genius. It's not just the, the ideas that we're debating today about the characters and so on that are really uh, extraordinary. It's the music, it's the way it's put together. It's a conversational piece from beginning to end. It's one, one huge conversational piece of, of, of of you know, 12 hours, it's, it's, it's extraordinary. It's all conversation, it's all people. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's an extraordinary creation on a musical level. And a large part of what it says is in the music, in the orchestral material, not in the words. Mm -hmm. So there are you know, multiple layers of communication with the audience or the listener um, it's interesting to also just listen and watch, but you can approach it from many, many, many angles. And I think this kind of, I'm just trying to prove that this is a very sophisticated work, and to, you would hope that you could actually communicate this richness uh, and acquire new followers. Um, but that's precisely but not what the I internet is interested in. I want to agree with Ben for just for the sheer pleasure of it for a moment, <laughs> yeah. which is, I think you're right, there is popular music and popular culture that is not kitsch, that there are genuine human emotions 
in, in popular music, in film, for example. And so having said that, I think that Wagner was wrong in what you read. In other words, insofar as he was arguing that art is non-utilitarian, it's easy to agree with him. But I think that insofar as empathy is the basis of ethical action and imagination is the basis of empathy, that is to say, insofar as with, without the imagination, we could only picture sufferings that we ourselves have suffered. And our compassion would be extremely limited, especially us upper, you know, middle class bourgeois types who, you know, recently experienced a toothache, <laughs> right? Um, and so I think that an art, it is art, precisely art, at all its levels, that presents, that puts before people a much wider range of human experience than they could ever gather on their own. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at the, at the highest level, there are the plays of Shakespeare, there's Wagner, there's Verdi. At the middle level and high level, there are the novels of Dickens, there's the cinema, there, I mean, and all of these things basically enlarge the imagination, and insofar as they enlarge the imagination, they are, if you'll pardon the expression, socially useful. Mm -hmm. because they make compassion possible. But it is not only that Wagner uh, may have been wrong. Uh, it is possible, Rob, that you are wrong uh, in the premise of your question. I am not really convinced that art today is any less uh, important yeah, than, not, than it was uh, in, in Wagner's time. I, I, I mean, you, you stage the ring and they come. Uh, they come for many years. You sing and they come. Uh, why do you uh, think, and, and we are moved by it. It is not just we come because... Uh, but who are, the, so, who are so the day who are coming? Well, it, it, they, they are enough to fill yeah, a okay. very large, a but very but large even for room. Books, in terms of the book industry, which is my industry, never have so many young people walked into so many bookstores. When we thought that the digital book was winning, mm. it didn't. Mm. Uh, you have paper books, the paper. So the person who founded iTunes two years ago in London told me that the book business today is worth more than television and music, meaning rock, put together. Even if that figure is slightly off, it is still extraordinary that the book business is thriving. People are watching series, not all of them stupid. So it is extraordinary, and it's true it's that in the beginning, in, in, it's transforming. transforming, and it's true that in the beginning it was elitist to read novels or only bourgeois could do it, or bourgeois maybe women, or people who weren't occupied. But today it's becoming less and less so. More people are reading across the social spectrum. It's extraordinary to sit in the subway at times. Even in the times of iPhones, you have people reading constantly paper books, on, on airplanes, all kinds of books, sometimes, you know, not so highbrow, and sometimes quite really extraordinary books are being read all over the world. And I, Umberto Eco, when I interviewed him for the Paris Review, told me this. He said, I don't think I told him, I said, do you think culture is dying? He said, not at all. It's, it's thriving. And I agree with you with the internet and different forms. It's not just transformings, but old forms are also becoming more available. And we have gen a new generation of young people who is extremely interested in art and continues to. But I think to, Rob is right about one thing. Um,